Welcome back. Uh, if you're like I once was, you might be starting your snack chip Doritos journey and kind of know a little bit about um, chip flavors, but I'm actually an expert, the foremost YouTube, YouTubing historian, um, anthropologist, ethnographer of uh, Doritos. Uh, I take that knowledge to a scientific level. So uh, my wife asked me to do this for Mother's Day, kind of a special Doritos request. I can't eat avocados because I am a, a super taster. Uh, a super tasting is a condition where you've got um, extra almost like mutant taste buds. And so you just taste too well and it makes you susceptible to not being able to literally scientifically not being able to ingest uh, certain flavors, textures, things like this. And avocados, one of them. So she asked me, hey, for Mother's Day, will you do me this solid and eat uh, avocado flavored Doritos? Avocado Doritos. This is the bag, avocado and cheese Doritos. Here is now you might start getting some clues here that this is from Japan. That's right, I got these chips um, during a business trip to Japan and brought them back. And there we go, avocado and cheese. So yeah, I'm eating these in honor of my wife for Mother's Day because she knows I can't eat avocados. But little does she know that it's the texture of the avocado fruit or vegetable, whichever it is that I actually can't eat medically. But once avocado is rendered into like an oil, I actually cook with avocado oil all the time. So I think she might've think she was playing a little prank on me, but I I'm actually think I might be keen and might actually enjoy this. Plus it's, if you notice eagle-eyed viewers, it says avocado and cheese. And if they dump enough cheese on that, it might just cover that oily, slimy avocado essence. And um, I brought a couple of little avocados with me. They're um, Haas. Those are just props. I'll, I'll just throw them out later, but they're kind of props to set the stage, if you will. And so yeah, Doritos avocado, Japanese chips. If you'd like to review some facts about Japan with me, um, let's review some facts about Japan. Okay, I'm gonna eat these chips. And now I'm gonna open the bag, crack the bag using my hourglass method. I'm not going to go into it in depth because if you've, you've likely seen some of my other videos where I describe the hourglass method, Let's take a look at those chips. Can you see those? It's kind of dark in there, but yeah. I'm sure they're green. Um, so the hourglass method means you open the bottom of the bag. I'm not gonna go too in depth with it here, but you open the bottom of the bag because when chips are processed, they're sealed in the bag on like a conveyor belt and they run along the conveyor belt and they get packed in a truck and they spend their whole life up until this moment sitting like this. And you get that, that flavor condensation uh, going down to the bottom. But all those um, dribblings of flavor are going to the bottom of the bag. So when you open the bag from the bottom, it's almost like an hourglass. It's letting the flavor redistribute towards the bottom of the bag. So that's why you're supposed to open bags from through using the hourglass method, okay? Uh, so here we are. These are our avocado chips. Take a look at that. Little green, green foods um, taste taste worse to the human eye. You eat with your eyes first, right? So that book, Green Eggs and Ham, is kind of like a joke book because no one actually would want to eat green eggs and ham. And that's nasty. Ham's supposed to be gray. Eggs are supposed to be like orange, yellowish. But um, so it's a joke. So most foods that are green, people don't like. Um, so uh, super tasters like myself, they can't eat green flavor. So, um, but uh, let's take a look at these chips. No one eats green apples. They all go for red apples. 
Here we go. I'm going to take my first taste of this, okay? Yum. It's reminding me, first of all, not spicy. Huge relief if you've seen my last few weeks of videos where everything was dang spicy. I didn't eat for like two days after that. Um, the, um, not spicy. See those, those are pretty too. Look at those pretty colors. And these avocados are like threatening to roll. Another reason you can't eat avocados. They don't sit still. I'm just taking them off the table. They didn't do anything to the set. I'm just throwing them out. It's an expensive fruit too. Waste of money. Mm. Oh man. You might see there's like this kind of like thin sprizzling of little salty things on there. It's, it's almost like one of their um, corn chips. They made a corn sweet corn flavored chip. I tried several uh, videos back. It's a little bit like that. And our, our ingredients here, um, I think they might be breaking from the tortilla chip tradition because this actually says the first ingredient is corn and not tortilla. So this is one of those sneaky Doritos that isn't a tortilla chip, but is a corn chip. Uh, but it's got uh, corn, vegetable oil, sugar, salt. I like that they're right next to each other. You get the push-pull. Mmm. Avocado power. Powder, not power. Mmm. Ah. Now here, this might be the secret sauce for what makes it so good. Monosodium glutamate. That's otherwise known as MSG. Otherwise known as delicious. Mmm. Okay, this is a hit for me. These are really, really good. Now, if you're an avocado lover, uh, first off, I'm sorry. Second off, this might not be hitting for you because people I know who like avocados... They like it to be like a slimy, greasy, uh, nasty fruit that kind of slithers like a slug down your throat. Nothing slimy about these chips. Maybe if you appreciate that sliminess, maybe like get these wet or something, like put it in a bowl with some water and swirl it around. Eat it with a spoon. Then you might like these. But for me, this I, I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome from this. Mmm. These chips are crispy. Little sweetness, little saltiness. Mmm. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, this is a winner for me. And I've had other Doritos from Japan, other special flavors. And they weren't it. They weren't that great. This is fantastic. Oh my God, I love it. Oh. And you've heard me critique before, like how Doritos just aren't as dusty as they used to be and as nasty and don't give you a stomach ache like they used to. This is in that category, not super dusty, not, but you know what? Like, it's fine if you just want a light potato chip. It's not going to make you like Queasy after you eat the whole bag. Go for this. This beats a corn chip. This beats a plain tortilla chip. And also, if you're like one of those weirdos that like dips a tortilla chip in guacamole, I don't know what guacamole tastes like because of one, I would never eat it because it's like a worse version of an avocado. But I imagine this is a little bit like the flavor of a tortilla dipped in a guacamole sauce. Mm. Okay. Well, my wife's glaring at me because she's been hearing me eat these and she's eyeing that bowl. I think she wants to try some. One, her prank didn't work. I had an enjoyable time eating these. And two, I think she wants to try some for herself. So... Mm, I'm going to save some of these for her. 
Mm, so good. So good. So if you, I appreciate you coming to my channel. If you um, are here for the Doritos expertise, please subscribe. There'll be more coming on the way. And let me know in the comments below if um, 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 you have tried this flavor or if, you, if avocado makes you sick to your stomach or if um, you're a weirdo that enjoys avocados. And just PSA, um, if you're a super taster, there is hope and there is support out there. You can, there's wonderful organizations that um, work to minimize the hate that is from ableist people who smear and tease our community. Um, so reach out to someone if you're affected by super tasting. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much for enjoying this avocado and cheese Japanese Doritos video.